Hello everybody, my name is Farmer Phil and today's video mightn't just happen today but today's video is the 6290 is coming out of the shed to go back into the shed um, so what that means, I, I had planned on taking it out all the gear so it had space but we were talking about it earlier and the plan is we're going to tidy her up get her that we can move her put our front wheels on it we're going to take her out and then we're going to Shimmy her in, we're going, while we have it out we'll tidy up the back wall there, we'll get rid of some of them bars of scrap that's under that. And we'll put in just enough space that we can walk up beside it. Not that it takes up the whole shed anymore, but move it out of the way that we'll be able to get in by it. So we'll have to just tidy it up that nothing can fall off it. We've got to jack it up the pond to set the front wheels on it, and just tidy out some of the stuff behind it. So yeah, let's just get it out. To move it over so we can get into the shed. Pile of stuff there for Father Phil to go through that I tidied up out of behind the oil burner. Oil burner is lit as you can see. But we'll get into the shed now when we get this move. Anyways, so here's our new set of tyres. Actually, pretty much brand new treads for There they are. What size are they? Because I can't remember. 16.9s, 28s. That's what they are. So... Yeah, new set of rubber to go on her, and when there's new rubber going on her, that's a sure sign that she's going to be put going. We actually have a good few bits ordered for it, and we have to do a list of what we need to put her back going. I suppose when Father Phil comes out, we'll go through what bits is missing off of, but I suppose for those of you that don't know why this tractor's been in here, and how long it's been, it's been in this shed an, embar an embarrassingly long period of time. What's wrong with it? The hydraulic pumps in the back end are gone. They went to me when I was bailing a while ago, a good while ago, and she lost drive. It was letting air, whatever it was, it was letting air into the hydraulic oil, causing bubbles, and then it had stopped driving. And you could let it settle, drive it for 10, 20 minutes, and it had lose drive again. So that's what is wrong with that tractor. And to do that job, it's half axles off, it's getting at the back end of it to change the two pumps in it, two hydraulic pumps in it. So yeah, that's today's video. We are going to get her out and then shimmy her back into the corner. So anyways, we'll start securing bits and bobs onto it and we'll get these wheels in and see whether we have to jack her up or not. So yeah, that's today's video. Shining up the bonnets now. Yeah. So. Oh wait, put that on. Fuck's sake. Right. Well, apart from that falling off, it's starting to look like a tractor again. So anyways, 6290 has a set of front wheels on it. The panels are back on it. Uh, it doesn't look too bad now at all. It's um, not going to start, not going to drive or anything special now because there's still a lot of work has to be done putting it back together under the bonnet, but we will get out of the shed now. Handy enough. Momentarily. Right, what? Well, right. Uh, you pulling or steering or what? You're steering. Oh, okay. So we hook up the telly to it now.
first time in two years that tractor has been outside. First time in two years. Shed looks very empty now without it in it. Teleporter is the first thing in the shed in two years that's actually driving. Now we try and so, as I was saying, time to get these barrels out. Empty barrel, oil barrel, diesel drum, scrap barrel. Probably won't move. Anyways. Hiding to do there, but we get the tractor right in and right up. Then we just get around it, we'll be able to, be able to work a bit on it. But main thing, we'll be able to get stuff in behind it to start getting the loft in and start working on stuff. So, anyways, we get this out of the way and we go bring back in the tractor. So, 6290 back in the shed and a little bit tight to the wall but we just clear some of that stuff there we get around it. But the main thing is <coughs> more than enough space now to get in and out of the shed. The next day's job will be to sort that out, get rid of that and get, take the rubbish out of here and put it into the pile for going away. And yeah, so we can get into the shed now at the telly or in with hen else really. We have lots of space now. It's, how you rearrange stuff you have space and we'll also still be able to get our shelves and we'll still be able to work at that tractor whenever we decide to work at it when are we deciding to go working at it new year. the new year okay so anyways we'll leave it at that for today and we'll pick it up again tomorrow when we go to take out some more stuff out of the shed so now we're here with father phil about to go through this pile of stuff and do a bit of a story time. Restores department again. So now the tractor is moved and really getting into it now. We might try and get another few bits out of the corner as well and fill out the bucket for going in. So anyways. Start picking and carrying. Uh, Part of a beat drill isn't it? Bus box off a of web precision seater. Yeah it can go on the loft. So where are you putting the loft stuff? Back wall. Joint. Really that's very joint. twisted. It's actually a wood joint. What was that half that had tw twisted? Wrong the end of the PTO or the yeah the PTO shaft. Well, as in most cases, more than likely a tanker. Good button in it. How long is that? Right, back wall. Back wall. It's just it's a good joint. Yeah, bring that with you too. Yeah. So that's good. That you bang. Don't know what I kept that for, but a remarkable stuff in them. Oh. In your mule bands. Right. Or a few tight bottom stuff. Come on. I think I remember so, you welded the bolt in it to pull out the bearing. Oh, well, no. Obviously, fairly, but I can't. Fairly obvious now, Jesus. I think me. I remember, but I don't remember. Well, I didn't forget now. Right. That's the, one of the bearings. 
out of the old crimper. Yeah. Not the current crimper now. The old other one. The one before the one we have. I have now, yeah. Yeah. We done every roller bearing. Roller bearing. That's the outer shell of the bearing. Yeah. In the roller. They're you say I'm not hundred percent sure, but I think they're nearly got to five hundred euros a piece. The bearings. They're the same as what's in the in the in the crushers in the quarries. Yeah. And the double race balls so on unreal. You have to put them in an oven. Yeah. And you have to heat them for an hour and a half before you can sweat them onto the rollers. Yeah. Uh, tricky operation, but we don't four of them in yeah. that crimper. There's another there's another one of them in that There's pile. the double race off it. This. That's the race. That's the bit oh, in the middle. That goes in there. With the balls then the in balls, in two it. sets of balls. Oh, it, it, it is, uh, they're serious. Like it, it's the biggest bear than I think we ever fitted on the farm. Yeah. Ever. But for some reason, that <clears throat> mill done all four of them. Yeah. For some reason. And like, they're always, you can know by them, they're, they're swept. Yeah. They're swimming in grease. Current mill, we never touched. Touch, <laughs> touch wood. I don't want to be touching them. No. All again. <laughs> <laughs> You want? Will I bend it on you? <laughs> Material behind this is the joint's good. Yeah. And the tube isn't bent. It may serve a purpose in the future. So to the back, the back wall to the loft goes in. Correct. Look for him. He's very, very happy. So he is. <laughs> yeah. Are they any good? Yes. They are. Yeah, they're two good compressing units off of 6354 Perkins engine. Air compressors. Air compressors. They were lur old lorry engines you fitted into tractors. I fitted into tractors, yeah, well, the blocks of them. Yeah. Yeah, we breathe. A lorry engine and a tractor engine is governed differently. You have to change the injector pumps. Right. And in most cases, you have to change the sums, and the whole oil, the way the oil was pumped around the block, had to be completely changed. Right. I put a um, turbocharged Dodge engine into a 2720 one time. Right. Um, it was a tremendous engine. Oh man, pulled down the house. Yeah. But you had to build it for the tractor. It revved differently for a, for a tractor to compare to a lorry. A lorry. We had to change the pump of the tractor over onto it. And we had to change all the. There was a lot more cooling on the tractor. Yeah. Oil had to be cooled and all different things had to be. A whole thing had to be rechanged. But the block was all the same. All Everything was bored and pre drilled and you might have to knock out an odd plug here and there. But it was all sticky jigsaw. Yeah. So, so you have to compress the unit off them. You want to keep? Keep the two of them, yeah. Right. Bring them to the back. Sometime in the future we, we will be getting a, 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 something with a Perkins engine in it. And you could uh, put, put a, hair brakes on it. Well, you could put well, a compressor put on it. Compressor on it. Yeah. Well, they I run mean, straight off the engine, was it? Yeah, but they, you had to be, they had to be they're properly plumbed on, you see, because the, the oil of the compressor came down there. Yeah. And went back into the block. Yeah. And uh, that was from as far as to do with the air. There was a their styler pipe. Yeah. That had to take a, a supply off the crankshaft or off the oil of the or the oil pump of the yeah. engine of the tractor. And they returned the oil in there so the compressor wouldn't cease. We're running all the time. But uh, you know, look at you. We've ever got our hands on a nice, well, maybe 2720 or a 699 or maybe even a 1200. Yeah. And make like to give her a. We upgraded and say, Jenny, no, Dad, if I had them compressors, we pegged out. Huh? Right to the harvester for the loft. Off the old 860. Carried off the John Deere motor. Yeah, out. The one that scrapped. Scrapped one. Hydraulic motor. Snap shaft. In there. Yeah, front radars. It's no billicle system. Oh. We snapped five or six of them. And the old, the old one, mm. yeah. Never snap one on the mastic, ever. There's different motor with a little bit of an over run on them that they don't. What used to happen is you roll up this big pile of railing, yeah. and it was like a big flywheel go around, and then the phone would be ringing or something happened. And you'd stop. And they just let go of the lever. And your uncle, your either uncles, and shaft got. I only ever broke one shaft on the railer. The same day, bro I bro we broke, the yoke in the morning trying to roll the pipes, we left them. The wheel went flat on the compressor on the way to Galway. Oh, God. And the wheel bearing went in when we got to the far side of it alone. Yeah. That was a fun day. That's plastic. That's actually, that's, that's actually uh, not steel. I know, that's plastic or nylon. Exactly. It's a water 
jacket or something, isn't it? Cut the poor man. Yeah, it's, it's not sunny scraps for Borlo. Well, not Borlo. <laughs> yeah, can't Borlo stuff anymore. Yeah. As you know what I mean. It's for the rubbish it's bin. It's for the rubbish bin. Never mind, never mind him and his, his words again confused there. Part of that. Part of, part of this. Yeah, it, it, it live it up on the loft. It, it, it may be resurrected sometime. Mind you. Oh, he out. Yeah, very rubbish. Finally getting through to him. On the day they call me look for it. I won't be looking for that. Uh, single lever chest valve. Yeah, it has, has a use. Don't know for what, doesn't it? <sighs> no idea. Swivel in the back of the umbilical system. Oh! That wore out completely. We wore the swivel out. Yeah. yeah. In four seasons. In four seasons? Yeah. What's that? No idea. It's actually not a bad one. I see more. What is it? The knives off of a, a Vogan knot. Macerator. Oh, that's the knives. That's the knives. That cuts, cuts the slurry, cuts the, the dirt. Which side cuts it? This bit. The that, war there, the war oh, there. Oh, that's, that's the knife there? Yeah, there, there, and there. Alright. It's not bad. I've seen worse ones. Yeah. I've seen worse ones. They come right at that one, I think. Oh. Down to the nick, not none yet. So, Just this collar here. Yeah, i never seen the inside of it. Because it's red, we hold on to it. <laughs> Went from having nothing at the back of the shed to having a pile at the back of the shed. Oh, Get that gear out of the gearbox of the original 2720. Oh, that's the gear out of the gearbox of the 2720? Yeah. Here. Button is knackered. That was oh, Well, no. <laughs> Wasn't me. Oh, uh, you wasn't expecting to do something to a bit of damage or whoever welded it. Oh, yeah. We never remember doing that. I think that's not, that's not, that wasn't something we bought. Yeah. That was done. But that never was done here. Yeah, so it's not a wise idea welding the safety, safety mechanism on the machine. What was that? 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 I have a hitch. Correct. That broke. Or was caught, which broke. Uh, you can see the, the stress tears on That it. was the original, eh? Yeah. That was war. Yeah. This piece. And we put this piece onto it. Yeah. A mobile welder, one wet day on the trailer. Welded it up. Put the new eye in front. Yeah. And uh, your uncle. Right. Was in Australia. Right. Turned over the trailer. No, we we done that the week before. Went out through a gap. Yeah. At, <clears throat> at an astronomical speed. Right. And don't ask me what happened, but the front part of the hitch dropped. Right. On an eighty one twenty. Yeah. And he somersaulted the hitch down off the tractor. Right. And it knuckled in under this. Yeah. And it just snapped the that. new way clean off. My shade the hitch on the tractor. What? Talk. So how? So the, the front, so the, the pin? No, it, it was an old uh, swing hitch. And the front oh, I see, it's not a drum, it wasn't no, a drum no, no, hitch. No, 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 not a drum one hitch, no, no, no. And the front part of the hitch, for some reason, don't ask me how it fell happened. Fell down. Fell down. It turned into the ground. And it stuck into the ground, the trailer was empty and he was flying. Yeah. And it somersaulted the hitch underneath the drawbar. And snapped off and the... It didn't, have, didn't do any harm to the hook. Yeah. Twisted the hitch, twisted the hitch on the tractor, and broke the eye out of the trailer. I was impressed with him that evening. Yes, no. Yes, as you can know, that he's off air. Uh, I meant this is an education. Four hundred drive shaft. Correct. He's learning. Yeah, well, I was, <laughs> he was putting one on today a few times. We bought a thirty ninety five. Yeah. The second thirty ninety five we bought. Right. But two of them at one time. So much a few years. And the tractor was painted up. It was like a new tractor. Yeah. There was only five thousand hours on it. Look shot and well. Yeah. But when you got into the nitty gritties of the tractor, there was lots of issues. Yeah. And that was one of them. Somebody had snapped the pinion going into the front axle. Right. And they had welded the collar to the 
nut that tightened on the pinion shaft. Right. There's the nut. You can see the threads. Yeah. See, I'm going to show them on camera. You can see the treads. You can see the treads just inside that now. So somebody, it was before we got it, now yeah. it happened. My, my, came out of the UK. Yeah. They had welded the four wheel drive collar to the nut that, that tightened the bearings into the pinion shaft. Right. <laughs> so you can imagine what And happened. did you fix that? Did we fix oh, it the then? bloody bastard thing came off. Oh, come off? Yeah. Well, the first time we put her under a bit of a pull and the next thing was this platter bang, bang, bang. And, and then I had to take it out. Off. And lucky enough, I was able to take that off. Yeah. And we worked away, and I had to get a new crown wheel and pinion, pinion for the front first. axle. Yeah. And build the whole thing back into it. I put a whole new four wheel drive shaft on it. Yeah. I was reversing oh. on the power hair, on right. the yoke, and I bent three of them. Bent three of them? Why? Well, you didn't lift it high enough? I did, but there was a root sticking out of them, and I didn't know it. Ah. Right. That broke my heart. That's an acid pump, is it? No. Oh, that's the fuel pump of a Land Rover Discovery Jeep. Oh, <laughs> oh. that gave me <laughs> an enormous amount of grief. Right. I left the Jeep stuck on the road many today till we discovered that the pump itself is faulty. Yeah. And we put in another one. Yeah. And then it worked fine. That could be the original pump, but it's one of them. It's one of them. Cock a doodle doos that give me all the trouble. So, Father Phil is in control of the camera now. I, I take the hard job. <coughs> Stand up and agitate her. Yeah, we picked up a lump of a gate. A gate? Yeah. And snap. everyone or snapped, the snapped the shaft. Well, it didn't do it that day, but it done it about a week later. Right, that's scrapping. That's scrapping. No, yeah. just look where you're pointing. Always remember where the camera is pointing. Yes, sir. Yeah. So long as you're in the shot, that's the most important thing. Once whatever we're at is in the shot is the most important thing. Now, once you're looking at your feet. Right. A few of them now and you wouldn't be long filling up the skin. <laughs> yeah. So if What's that hot? Well, it's well wore there anyways. Yeah. I have no idea. 3690. No. 2720. No, 6480. 6480. We bought 6480. Yeah. She was eight year old. Yeah. And there was 602 hours in her. Yeah. And the lift never was used. Yeah. Ever. Ever. And we probably made the mistake. We didn't check to see that everything was unseized on it. Yeah. And that ball was seized solid. Yeah. On the end of the lift arm on that side. Camera point at it. I can't see because it's gone black. Uh, it can see. It's just gone black for you. Right. That boy was seized. Yeah. Wasn't moving. And he probably went off ploughing or doing something that spring. And the ball split and fell out. Oh. Right. I see you see it there. No, no. no that's not that. It's a different ball. And right. And I explained to you what happened. Yeah. And I says, oh. And I rang a local machinery man. And yeah, I have a lift arm for that. And he gave me a lift arm. Yeah. But that was off a burned tractor. Yeah. The tractor burned. And unfortunately, with the heavy work we were at, now if you're only at ordinary old light work. Yeah, it wasn't. Agitating and different jobs like yeah. that, it was all right. But when you were working a four foot reverse with plough and that big limkin hair, yeah. just straighten it up there. Just now leave it that you can see the bone. That's what happened. It turned into an S hook. Because of the. She got the heat. Yeah. The heat of the fire managing this. Another shaft. There's a lot of shafts in this pile. Uh, well, there's a lot of shafts around this place. Well, any good, massy, enthusiastic know exactly what that is. That's part of the top, the top link of a 35 or something. No, 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 no. It was an unusual thing. Where's the hitch, the extendable hitch? What extendable hitch? hitch? One of those to the door. Um, at the back wall. Any of them, anyone that would know the hitches that used to be on the 699s, uh, some of the 390s, so the 399s had them yeah. with the long hook yeah. and the two fingers. Yeah. Well, you could put that on with two pins yeah. on top of the hook Yeah. to keep your trailer or whatever from coming off. Oh, it was just like a little safety thing. A little safety, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Some tractors had them, some had them. That was the one that was on the six, hour 699. Yeah. I actually thought that was lost. Leave that with the hitch. And yeah. Pop them in. 
I don't want to It was great. It was great. It was great in the bracket. Yeah. Right. Them gears. Where are them gears at? I'll probably something to do with the back end of the tractor. So. It could be perfectly right. Hold up that for a minute. I should see him down there somewhere. It's this there is that way. Right. PDL gears are of a tractor. Very special tractor. 3690. Right. When I bought my 3690 20 years ago. Yeah. She came on a Wednesday. Yeah. We were pumping slurry, of course, as we are every day. Always. And uh, I was new fangled with this tractor. I got a relief lad to do a bit of driving for me while the tractor came off the lorry. I got diesel in it and went over to where we were pumping. Oh man, it was like a cat with two tails. Yeah. Put on the pump, started the PTO, and da 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 Oh, he says, I never tried that on the back of that. He says, I didn't realize that wrong. He says, you may, well, it'll be 20 years ago this January now. Hi, 20 years ago. This January. Yeah. 2001 it was. Uh, just the year the foot and mouth. Yeah. Uh, maybe it was in the end of January, coming into February. But anyway, it doesn't matter. We're rambling. Uh, he says, you may have a look and see. He says, get someone to look at. So we looked at him. He said, we're yeah. the shed there. We took the arse over. The gear that was driving them had one of them had two teeth missing, the other one had one. Yeah, that's what the noise was. The, 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 the. And I waited for six weeks for two gears to come out in the UK. Yeah. But I didn't know at the time. The back end gears in them, and the back end of a 2640, are the same. 2620, 27, 20, 26, 80, are all the fucking same. Yeah. Back end of the 3690 is the same as the same 2000. Gears, same gears in them. Center section. It's the same as the 2000 series. Yeah. Exactly the same. Yeah. And we didn't know it at the time. And I could have got them... A lot sooner. ...quicker and handier. But uh, we put them into her and she was just right here. And after that, she'd done 18,000 hours. Yeah. Never gave a bit of bother. But whatever happened, it, and it was unusual because it was the one that was driving them. The teeth came off. Yeah. So you're, keep, some, you're keeping them. Well, there's no teeth missing off them. Yeah. Uh, the gear that was driving them, well, we'll find it. So that is it for today's video. Not exactly a whole lot done. Well, tractor got put back together and moved and we got another bit cleared out with the back of the shed, but I'd like more done, but what can you do? It's just one of these things. We're just so busy on the farm, bits of contract work going on. Just, it's just one of these things. I thought we'd have more time to get more of this kind of work done and I have so much more stuff done, but we're just not getting half of what I was hoping, no I had 10 to what I was hoping to get done done, it's, it's just annoying but what can I do, it's 10 o'clock at night now and it's time to quit and go inside and put the feet up, well when I say put the feet up I have to go and start doing other work on the computer YouTube stuff and doing up stats and whatnot. so the work really never ends but anyways that's it, track to come out in this video, we tied an herb in the corner, had a bit of a story time with Father Phil, I was hoping the third video of the workshop would be fully cleared but we're not we're nearly there small behind the corner but two buckets more scrap and then just sweep up the floor really and that's it we're ready the loft is ready to go in the stairs has come for the loft it is outside the shed here so here is the stairs my father picked up for the loft he picked it up in carlo should do a good job good sturdy bit of the stairs but anyways another bucket of scrap to go into the Wilton's recycling bin and hopefully now the plan is for next week is we're going to tidy up a lot of loose ends and then we're going to be concentrating on getting the heavy scrap when I mean heavy scrap I mean machinery scrap inside an old busted Lemkin Hara an old Amazon fertilizer spreader a mower an old John Deere mower there's there's a lot of machinery our plan is next week if we get a chance we're going to try and get spend a day or two getting that stuff heavy stuff into the skip to get it filled for the following week the week of christmas that we'll be having the combine ready to go to wilton's to be chopped up to do a video on that and also we are getting rid of our old bale trailer because father phil has something in mind for Jan for the spring he's he's going to replace our bale trailer or that's why he's hoping anyways see how we go on see what the beef trade is like and briggs and all that coming up god only knows what's going to happen but yeah you just keep your head down you try and keep plowing on troop anyways we'll finish today's video hopefully now 
it's just really annoying me we're not getting as much work as I was hoping to do done but it's just I'm working as hard as I can we're all working as hard as we can we just cannot get through the work it's just really annoying very frustrating I can't get all the tidy and I want to do done but what can I do hire someone hopefully next year hopefully anyways we'll leave it at that for today's video also today as I do uh, every Sunday now till the 24th of January Farm Flix is now open for people to join if you don't know what Farm Flix is which I presume a lot of people from last year will know Farm Flix is like Netflix for farmers they have a huge selection over 250 videos there for you to watch straight away Farm Flix is free for you to check out for 24 hour free period there's a link in my description down below where you can head over there follow the links through and if you sign up or anything like that you use them links you are not only are you getting cracking farming content you're also helping the channel out but anyways i leave it at that for today's video before the battery runs out that's it for me please like and subscribe to the channel videos every tuesday thursday and sunday and hopefully the next time we catch up we'll have this finished good luck